Um, write that down. And then, following the old template that we did before, uh, I want you to fold a piece of paper. But before you do that, take your memoir and as it's written out, it could be um, a single paragraph of four sentences or five sentences, or you could take it to a whole page or more. I mean, if you want to keep writing, please keep writing. Don't stop on my account. <laughs> Let it just flow, all right? And as you go, when you're done, I want you to look at it and start to make some marks on the page. Start to section out what are the main ideas, what are the smaller ideas, but basically be thinking about which one of these are more important than others, which ones are more important than others. And then on another sheet you're going to make you're going to make a list of those one, two, three, four, five. Those important ideas in a kind of hierarchy. All right. Then you're going to do the thing where you fold the page again. This time, two pages. And now you've got, I would say, eighths again. But don't necessarily obey those lines. Let them be there for you. But understand that some pictures can be bigger and some can be smaller. Maybe you want somewhere on that first one to have the, the title of it. Um, you can have, you can break it up any way you want, okay? These folds are there just to start you off. And I want you to do this in pencil as many times as you want, but being faithful to the hierarchy of your ideas. What's first, what's second, what's third, what's fourth, what's fifth? All right, so this should be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. You're thinking about now importance in terms of sequence. This is now sequential art. You're making a little movie. What is the first scene we see? What is the next one? And so on. Until you have gotten your little memoir into a double page spread. I want you to send that to me this week and feel totally free to play with this form because it is really one of the most dynamic of our time. I look forward to hearing from you, seeing your sketches, and being in touch.